Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I just got a delivery. 77 glider Q light. To the windsock. So, let's take this puppy out. Okay, get a free t shirt. That's the one I'm wearing. Glider. Rucksack. And repair kit. So this has the uh, some nylon rods for your leading edge. Um, repair cloth for each of the colors of the glider, red, white, and blue. And then a getting started manual and a, looks like a sticker and a couple uh, speed bar clips, crimp clips. Okay. Truck set. Whoa, this thing is light. Yet, look at the foam on this thing. So it's got some good padding, even on the waist, upper and lower. I mean, so this is the this is set up so you fold your glider in half instead of thirds. See how long it is. It helps you to hike through narrow trails. Shrubbery on the side. And you don't fold the glider as much. And just to give you an idea with the same ways, the scale over here. It's like two pounds three, two pounds three ounces. And the glider. Oh, what is this? These are like four point four kilograms, or in this case. A little over nine pounds, nine pounds, almost 10 pounds. Yeah. 10 pounds or 4.4 kilograms. So let's take a look at this thing. Nice day. 77 Q light. Let's take a look at these risers first. First things first. Like Dyneema, 13 millimeter Dyneema. Looks like what they did here. Clips. Let's clip these together. Some I never seen crimps this lightweight. Check it out. It's different. And anyhow, there's your speed bar system. See when the balls hit, gives you a little. Let's check these things out. 13 millimeter Dyneema. Either one. <clears throat> the blues, the A's. So these are soft links. So they got soft links for the A's, the B's, and the C's. So A's, B's, C's. So on the A's we have two lines. And the single loops on the quick link, on the soft link. On the B lines, oops, no, this is a split A. So we got a split A. So we got two on the main soft link, and then on the split A. And then <clears throat> your B, we got three B lines, and the red one's the stabilo. And then on your C lines, we got three, but we have 
each of them has a lark's foot. So that gives you more um, leeway than a, a double loop. Um, so when your lines shrink, you, you got you got probably about 30 to 35 millimeters to let out if your lines shrink when you got a double loop. Depending, well, of course, this is a soft link, so it's making more of a uh, there's more a larger circumference here than it would be on a quick link. So this may be 40, 45 centimeters when you let this uh, lark's foot out. And so you can go to from a lark's foot to a double loop to a single loop um, to change that and increment incrementally. And then the brake lines have a the ceramic disc. And then the brake lines are well, the brake loop is good size, so you can use it with the gloved hand easily. They're not on swivels, but you can feel your glider better this way. Um, and I've noticed even with swivels, you still get the lines twisting. And even though you the swivel's there, um, it'll still twist at the main branch out. So you got to keep an eye on that because I have a few gliders that have swivels on the brake handles and some don't. And even with the swivels, I got to untwist the lines <clears throat> when they first wire out. So every time I launch, I always take a look about where they branch out, make sure I'm not, I'm not twisted there. <clears throat> so you don't gain any advantage really with the swivels per se. And then as far as uh, steering with the C's, you got this, <laughs> check it out, this little loop here, a finger loop here. <laughs> That's different. That's lightweight for you. And so when you pull that, um, you're, just put, you're just steering with the C's. And not the B's. And I'm, there may be a kit here to go to BC route, but to be honest with you, if I have a UP X triangle race and X race, and it has BC steering, and so when I pull the ball and it comes down to a certain point and then it latches onto the B's and pulls the B risers as well as the C risers, there's a lot more tension to it. So you're not, you know, they're trying to simulate the, the two liner steering, but it really doesn't uh, work as efficient and the effort is a lot more strenuous than it would be on a two-liner. But it's there, it's optional, you can, it works. It does steer a little bit better than it would be three-liner. So anyhow, that's the risers. Let's take a look at the leading edge here. Delta strap. 